Hi, I'm using FEMAP 10.3. I'm going to show you how to create a custom toolbar. So to start off with, all we need to do is either right click in the toolbar area or use the tools menu, toolbars, customize. Gets you to the same place. Uh, so then I can just click the new button and it's going to offer a new toolbar name. I'm going to give it a custom name here. I'm going to call it toolbar demo. Click OK and we've got a new toolbar. It shows up here on the list at the bottom. I can choose to display it or not display it by clicking the button. Same with all the other toolbars. And notice right now it's on the left. I'm going to drag it to the right so it's a little bit easier to see. Notice there's nothing in it right now, so it's empty. Uh, but we'll fix that. Uh, click on the Commands tab here, and that's going to live, give you a list of all the FEMAP commands uh, sorted by pull-down menu. So I, I can uh, start off here with a model menu. Uh, let's say I was going to do some materials and properties and starting to create a lot of these, I can put these right in. So I can just drag them over. Just a drag and a drop. Real simple, real straightforward. Uh, at some point though, uh, I might need a new drop-down menu. So I can just click on this new menu, bring that over here, and that's going to create a new drop-down menu. Uh, I might want to right-click to rename it. Uh, instead of new menu, I'm going to call it custom. Okay. And so that's a new drop-down menu. Notice there's nothing in it right now, so we're going to fix that. Let's go over here to the tools list, and let's start putting some tools on here we're going to use a lot. Uh, so we're going to put the parameters on here, and we're going to put the variables on here. And then we're going to go over to model, and we're going to put analyze. So this will start off a NASTRAN run for us. We can also use external commands. Uh, if I click over here to the user commands tab, you can see a list of the external commands I've created. They can be FEMAP API programs or can, they can just be third-party external programs like this Windows Notepad. Uh, so I'll click back to the commands tab and scroll to the top and click user commands. And that's the same list, but this lets me drag and drop. So I can go over here to Notepad and I can drag, drag that at the bottom. That's just going to launch the Windows Notepad command. Notice it doesn't have an icon, but if I want to add an icon, I can just right click and say change button image and there's a list of, of icons that FEMAP has by default. I'm going to select one. Uh, but of course we might want to edit that. So you can click edit button image. You'll get a little toolbar icon editor and I can make some quick edits. I can also click this button if I want to uh, load an external image from a file. Let's say I already had a 16 by 16 uh, bitmap file ready to go. I could load it in and lots of options. So I'm going to click OK. And it'll test this out here, and sure enough, you see the new icon. I might also want to add a separator there, so I can right click and I say begin group. Begin group is just the command you use to add this little separator in this pull down menu right here. And so now I've shown you how to create a custom toolbar in FEMAP with custom icons so you can create your own toolbar for your own analysis purposes. Uh, FEMAP makes it real easy to create these toolbars, and then you can turn them on and off here. So you can have a whole list of custom toolbars and just click the arrow to turn them on, turn them off, and so you can use each toolbar for specific analysis purposes. Thank you for watching.